Hi there, I'm Lorraine Pocopiu and I'm going to be doing a back care workout today. This is kind of an intermediate level workout and we're going to be really focusing in on finding the core muscles and controlling through the torso while we're challenging the work with the limbs. So there's a lot of what I call dissociation, so we're holding one bit still, particularly the pelvis, and then moving a limb on top of that. I'm working today um, completely on the reformer. I am gonna add a little ball and a magic circle in as well as we work through. This reformer I'm working on today is an Align Pilates A8 Pro Reformer. And this one has the tower attached to it, although we won't be working with that particular tower today. But we're gonna start on all fours doing a little bit of cat-cow. So before we do that, we wanna double check we've got enough spring on here to support. So I've got one green and two red right now, just to keep the carriage pretty stable. I'm gonna come into all fours and actually face the uh, silver runner. So my thighs are coming against the shoulder rests, there or thereabouts, doesn't matter too much for this first section. And then hands underneath the shoulders here. I'm gonna take a cat cow. So I'm gonna exhale as I tuck the tail underneath and then inhale as I smile, my sit bones behind me shine the breastbone light forwards. So just a nice easy cat cow here, working through the spine, getting that movement and just taking your cat cow as big as you feel happy going. So if you are a little sore in the back, take it gently, keep it small, get the movement going. Motion is lotion and you might find as you keep going, you can make bigger movement. I'm going to hold this last one up into my cat <laughs> and then draw my tummy muscles in even more up into the spine. And then I'm going to pause into a cow, keeping the length and finding that control. So I'm not sagging in the middle, I'm controlling into that arch. And then I'm going to release and just take an easy drop back into shell stretch. Now your shell stretch here, you have quite often got the shoulder rest just to think about. So just working around those. And then we're going to come back up onto all fours again. And I'm just going to stay nice and flat through my back. Now I've got a little bit of a baggy t-shirt on here, so I'm just going to lift that up a bit. So, cause I want you to see my belly if you can. <laughs> Let's try that. So I'm going to let my tummy hang down without losing through the, the control through the spine. And then I'm gonna zip up, pulling my tummy muscles up and in. I'm gonna inhale, relax, without sagging my back, so no cows. And then drawing my tummy muscles up and in. Inhale, release. Exhale, zipping up and pulling in. One more. It's a little concentration required. And then I'm going to hold there. And then we're just going to keep the spine, the upper spine nice and straight. Now as I do that exhale, I'm going to tuck my tail this time. And then inhale, lift the coccyx to the sky. So I'm trying to keep the upper body super still. I've got a tray from about my bra strap level to the back of my head. And I'm just moving my pelvis only. So only that sort of bottom half of the cat cow here. There's a nice sense of drawing the tummy muscles up and in as I do my little tail tuck, and then a control as I lift the coccyx to the sky. I'm gonna do one more. And a reach. Take another little shell stretch again, dropping the bottom back towards the heels. And then I'm returning. And then I'm gonna take a superman. Now I am aware I've got my foot bar up here, so I just need to be a little bit reaching. I'm gonna reach my foot underneath there. So just checking where that is, and then releasing. So opposite arm, opposite leg lift, flying superhero, and then release. So I'm going from the four point connection to the floor to a two point, and I've got a control as I work that. And I'm gonna go one more there. Reach and release. And then I'm just gonna come on up into a kneeling position. I'm just gonna bring my arms up above the head, just dropping the armpits, feel a nice easy length all the way from the knees to the hands. And I'm just gonna bring the hands down across the chest, just take an easy spine twist, turning to one side, feel the length through the spine as I go, and then the other side. 
and we'll just do one more each side here. So I'm trying to keep my pelvic headlights, pelvis facing forwards as I take my twist. And just feeling that movement through the spine. Back into center. I'm gonna pick up the magic circle here. And I'm gonna go back to a flying superhero. I'm gonna place the circle onto the runner. So it's that there with the arm. And then I'm gonna reach back and pop my foot on top of the foot bar there. So I'm resting the top of the foot onto the foot bar. I'm finding that length through the spine. I'm gonna push down onto that circle. As I push down onto the circle, of course my arm's working, but I'm almost leading with the tummy. So I'm drawing this uh, tummy muscles in to support the spine as I push down. Now I can make this harder still by lifting the foot. So drawing my tummy muscles in, push down, lift the foot, and then release. Draw the tummy muscles in, push down to the circle, lift the foot. Really firing up the glutes as well, so those buttocks are working. But I'm trying to keep my tray on my back from the base of my skull all the way down to my tail. Nice, take a rest. Let's do that on the other side. So taking the circle onto the other silver runner, hand down so this circle is forwards, reach back, find the foot bar with the top of my foot, connecting through here, just pushing down through the circle first, and then release, drawing the tummy muscles in, feel the length through the spine, and then we'll push down and lift the leg, and control back. So all about stabilizing through the middle, challenge with the balance, working the core as we work the limbs as well. Last one, and release, and taking that down. Good, we're gonna come all the way around into sitting, and we're gonna lie down actually in the end, but on our way, I'm gonna take my ball as well, thread my feet through, and then actually, I'll, do you know what, I think I'll do it this way, I'll carry the ball with me as I'm lying down on my back. So I'm gonna keep the springs as they are into that two red and one green. And I'm gonna pivot all the way around, bringing my circle with me, with my feet and my legs in between. Just try and make it comfortable just below the kneecap, the knees there. And then I'm gonna stretch it to squeeze my ball between my knees. <laughs> and I'm just resting here, thighs dropping into the sockets of the hips. And I'm gonna squeeze the ball with my inner thighs and then release and push into the circle with my outer thighs and then release. So as you're working this, you're keeping your pelvis into that neutral position and we're working all the muscles around the hips and around the pelvis as we resist into the, into the ball and out to the circle. So as you're working here, keep that sensation of the neutral pelvis and working the hips and this quite a very small range of movement. It's almost an isometric contraction. So as I squeeze the ball, I'm firing up my inner thighs. Try and think pelvic floor as well. And then release, push out into the circle and feel the work going on around the outer hips there. And then release, let's do two more, squeeze and press out and we'll do one more squeeze and press out and returning into your center position let's bring the arms up just a little bit of scapular isolation reach release reach release one more reach release give yourself a hug arms come wide feel the chest stretch Let's do another hug, see if you can remember which elbow you did. You're going to bring the other one on top, arms wide again. Keep them wide when you get there, feel that nice easy stretch. We're going to roll both knees over to one side. Now as I go here, I'm going to keep both feet onto the foot bar and just kind of rolling and letting the circle and the ball respond to my movement. Through the centre, other side. Through the centre, other side. And we're just going to do one more each side here. Bringing that back up to the center and just reaching the arms up and release. 
So we're going to bring your legs into a tabletop position. So zipping up your tummy muscles, you might like to just bring one foot and then the other first, just with this whole combination going on, see what that feels like. Let's try that squeeze and press again here. So squeezing the ball between the knees and then firing up the outer thighs as you press out. So it's a little bit harder work now because I can actually get a bit more movement because my feet aren't fixed onto the foot bar now. So I'm feeling I'm getting more going on through the outer thighs. Squeeze the inner thighs, pelvic floor draws up and in. Press the outer thighs into the circle. So I'm gonna do two more of these. I'm really trying to stabilize through the pelvis, legs are tabletops, making it a little more challenging here. And we'll do one more. So if you're finding this too grippy through the front of the thighs, you could do this feet onto the foot bar. I'm just gonna hold here and then reach both legs away. Let's see if we can straighten the knees and then pull back in. Now, again, you've really gotta make sure you're drawing your tummy muscles in and controlling through the pelvis as you reach the legs away. So there's no movement going on there. If it's a bit tough, you can reach the feet more to the sky. And if you're doing okay, reach the legs out more on the diagonal. The lower the legs go, the tougher that is. Now let's try, squeeze the ball as you reach away and then bend, stretch the circle. Squeeze the ball as you reach away, stretch and, uh, the circle, one more. Squeeze the ball as you reach away and a stretch the circle. Now we've got to reverse this, so take a think about this. Stretch the circle as you reach away and then squeeze the ball as you come back in. Stretch the circle as you reach away. Squeeze as you come back in. One more. Stretch the circle, reach away. Squeeze as the ball as you come back in. Nice, and then we're gonna release those all the way back down again. I'm gonna pivot around and come into sitting just to um, take the, remove my circle and ball. So, circle off first. <laughs> and then we'll pop the ball out of the way there as well. Okay, so we're gonna come back down onto the carriage and we're gonna get going with our footwork. So lying down and take a moment. Let's just pause here a second. Actually, um, and we're gonna do a bent knee fallout first of all. Just keep the pelvis neutral as you drop that leg out to the side and back up. And that feels really nice actually, because I've got this, I've lost the resistance and the holding everything together. And I've got to control a little bit with the pelvis here and I'm getting that nice inner thigh stretch. So controlling through the pelvis as we move the ball and socket joint of the hip. Reset center, fix your feet onto the foot bar. We're gonna go with some footwork. So pushing up, straightening the knees and then controlling back in again. We're gonna keep that going, keeping your pelvis neutral as you're working. So just really think about that little space, little air bubble in your lumbar spine, and it stays there throughout. But quite often in that air bubble, I put a little blueberry, an imaginary blueberry. So just making sure you're not squashing that blueberry as you work. I'm gonna go one more here. Bring it all the way back in again. And then I'm just gonna drop my knees out to the side for a little inner thigh stretch, and just rock that from side to side there. Reset through the center. Again, just to feel that movement through the hips. And then I'm gonna turn out, so I'm plies in second. And then away we go, pressing up and down. Getting a sense of inner thigh stretch, just a bit here as you bend and straight, as you bend the knees. And keeping the pelvis neutral, reaching the sit bones underneath the foot bar as you're working away. I'm just gonna take two more here. Last one, and all the way back in again. Feet onto, to, onto the toes here. I'm gonna go a hip distance, pushing the carriage up, reach the heels underneath for the stretch, and then back up onto the toes, stay on the toes, bend the knees and pull back in again. I'm gonna do two more rounds like this. Reach, return, and then control back in again. So feeling nice and long through the spine. Now, just thinking springs here, um, I've got one green and two red. Now, sometimes you might find that feels a bit 
compression into your spine. If you're feeling that with a stronger spring, then drop it down. So we're gonna go again, stay here when you get here. We're going for six this time, six calf raises. Four more, nice and controlled as you reach underneath. Getting that lovely stretch into the calves. Last two, and a one. Controlling all the way back in. We're gonna take it into running, pressing up. One heel and the other knee presses up towards the ceiling. Just controlling through there. Now, just check into your pelvis as well. I like to put my hands onto my pelvic headlights there and just make sure they're not rocking from side to side. That's all controlling, stabilizing through the torso as those legs are working. Last one each side, coming back up and then controlling all the way into the stopper. Good, I'm gonna come on back up and change up my springs now. So I'm gonna drop that green off and keep those two red on. Just double checking I've got my straps ready for later as well. So lying down onto your back, we're just gonna go for a little set of single leg work. So again, just check the pelvis is neutral, float one leg tabletop, other foot is onto the high half toe, just pushing up and down, keeping control through that leg. So doing the single leg work makes it just a little more challenging through the control of the pelvis. And then as I add the leg reach on, means we've got to control that as well so again I'm just checking into those pelvic headlights making sure they're staying nice and still still got the space for the blueberry I'm going to add a devil of pay prep in here so I'm going to just reach to the sky and then bend and reach away a little bit more choreography control here as you push out and reach away and I'm just getting an extra stretch into the back of the thigh so really make sure that as you reach the leg to the sky you still got the space for the blueberry that mean you, might mean your leg only gets to straight-ish, and that's okay. That was my last one. I'm gonna switch and do the other side. Tabletop with the leg, pushing up and down. Nice and controlled, nice high half toe on the standing leg. Thigh dropping into the socket. And then we bicycle, so pushing up, reach away. Connecting into your abdominals as you're working. Devil a pay prep, bend, reach, hamstring stretch, control that pelvis. So maybe it only goes straight-ish. Work it out, feel what it feels like. Find the stretch, keep the control. Last one. And bend and reach away. Nice, I'm gonna land my feet, scoot away from the shoulder rest. We're gonna work 100 now. So I'm gonna take those straps. I'm gonna take my short loop option that I have here. Come through there as well, I think. Just gonna scoot away from the shoulder rest so I don't feel too pressed up into there. Zipping up the tummy muscles, legs into tabletop, press the hands down into the straps. It's quite a strong resistance here with the two red. And I'm just gonna pump the arms. I'm trying to keep really long through the arms, try and minimize the bouncing through the carriage. Inhale, you're pumping for five. Exhale, you're pumping for five. Now it's quite nice just to try and hold the stabilization here. So I'm working through my torso, even though the head and shoulders are not lifted. I'm controlling, stabilizing while the arms are pumping. I'm trying to talk at the same time. <laughs> and I'm controlling through those legs in tabletop as well. Now, of course, I could lift the head and shoulders if that's available to you. If it's a bit tough on your head and neck, then we can release it down. And your other option, let's get those arms going again. Here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, reach one leg, two, three, four, five. Inhale, pull back in, other leg. Of course, this requires a bit more coordination and a bit more control through those abdominals. I'm gonna do one more each leg. Reaching everything long, return to the stopper. Find that foot bar, get yourself ready. Feet in straps, so I'm gonna push up part of the way. One foot in, pressing, and then the other foot comes on in. Reaching out long, and just hold for a moment. I just need to readjust my pelvis. There we go, that's better. So you're reaching the legs out long, feeling the pelvis is neutral, and then we're gonna bend and straighten the knees here. 
So the thighs dropping into the sockets as you control in and reach away. I'm almost keep, uh, have a sense of reaching my feet into the straps even as I bend my knees. So there's kind of this opposition feeling going on so that I can control the pelvis and I don't just collapse into the thighs. It's really tempting to do that. So controlling, you're in charge of the springs rather than in charge of you. So I like to flex the feet here and point the toes, just adds a little bit of coordination. But if that's too much, just stay with the bend and stretch of the legs. Controlling through the pelvis all the while. I'm gonna go one more here like this, and then I'm gonna change it, come into a first position, and then I'm gonna plie. Again, I flex the feet and then point the toes there. And then we got that, we worked the fired up those inner thighs in the warm up, so we're really getting them going here as I'm zipping up the inner thighs as I reach out on that diagonal. Again, exactly the same thing control the pull of the springs with your torso, your pelvis, your low back muscles are really controlling here as I'm bending and straightening the legs. Come back to parallel, we lift and lower. Same, same, control your torso as you're working the legs. And there's a lovely sense of hamstring elongation at the back of the thighs here. So that eccentric control through the hamstrings as the feet lift to the sky. And I'm really trying to prevent the back from pushing into the carriage here, squashing my blueberry. We're gonna go again, we hold at the top. I'm gonna to take an inner thigh stretch with the adductor stretch. Uh, open the legs, close the legs, let's do that again. So I'm gonna keep opening and closing these feet and I'm keeping the pelvis nice and neutral onto the carriage. And I've gotta keep some energy out into those straps to stop that, the carriage from moving. All right, I'm gonna take a, um, into circles now. So out, around and up and together. Keeping the pelvis again, still, 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 as I'm circling those legs. And a reverse. Using the buttocks to push out into the straps. Controlling the circle, two more. And then I'll finish on the diagonal there. And then I'm gonna come out of those straps, finding the foot bar, releasing down. And then I'm gonna pivot around, come up into sitting again. We're gonna change up the straps, um, the springs, I should say, one more time. I'm gonna drop um, one of the reds off. So I've now got just a single red. I'm gonna come back down onto the mat for, uh, onto the carriage, I should say for some mid-back series. So I'm taking hold of the loops here, zipping up into the tummy muscles again, arms out long and straight, bring the hands down and control up. So it's much lighter now, so I've got to check in to, to control through the torso. So sometimes that can feel, it feels different and it's not so strong, strong. I can't power through, but I've got to control through the torso. I'm gonna push down to the hands to the hips, gonna take the hands out to the side for the snow angels. And one more here, hands to the hips and hold. I'm gonna just bring the arms up and land the feet just for a little moment. Rest through the hip flexors. We're just gonna do some cheerleader. So one arm out to the side return up and then the other arm out to the side. So that's your cheerleader position. One pom-pom up, one pom-pom out to the side and then we'll just finish off with the other side. So just noticing you're keeping your torso straight as you're dropping the limb out. Bring the legs to tabletop, hands to hips, hold. And then we're gonna transition straight into that cheerleader position. One arm up, one arm out and back to the hips and to the other side. So it's just that control. Again, we're challenging the different levers, different lengths um, on each side, but you're controlling through the torso. So keeping the body straight while we work these arms, that's probably the simplest way to say it. That's my last one there. And then I'm gonna control all the way back to the stopper, land at the stopper and release that down. 
will come on around, pivot up, and I'll just hook these straps back onto their uprights again. And then we'll stay with the single red and we're just going to work a little bit of a long stretch exercise here. So I'm gonna hold onto the foot bar, come into kneeling, feet against the shoulder rest, and I'm into this kind of four point kneeling posture again. So notice there's a bit of flexion at the hips here, and I'm gonna try and straighten that out. So I'm gonna keep my arms straight, keep my chest over the foot bar, and then just press the carriage back, finding that half plank position, and then return in. So I'm keeping the pelvis still in space at this point in time, and I'm just moving the thighs as I press the carriage back. And once I get into this kind of straight position from knees to shoulders, it's like a half plank and I'm pulling my tummy muscles up and in. So really making sure you're keeping, or you're finding that position. You've got a strong straight back and you feel like all those torso muscles controlling your half plank. I'm gonna take this back out again into the half plank, stay there and push away with my arms and control the carriage back in again. So the further away I go, that takes those points of contact away from each other, the more I've got to work my torso to control and keep the spine straight, long, still, stable. Only go as far as you feel happy going with that. Feel the tummy muscles working, feel your back muscles working, but no pinching or sort of feeling vulnerable through the back. That's when you've got to ease off or make the movement a little smaller. And then if you feel okay and you want to go for the full version, I'm just going to reorganize my feet a little bit, tucking the toes underneath. Because remember, you do want some weight going down through the feet as you come into your full plank. So I'm going to bring my weight back over the bar first, hold that there, and then lift the knees off. Strong plank here, I'm pushing down. I've almost got a shake on already. I'm going to push the carriage away and control back in again. So I could make this a little bit easier on the abdominals by giving myself a bit more spring. But I'm here now, so I'm going to stay here. Strong through the center and control back. I'm going to give it one more. <laughs> nice, and releasing back down. So that's quite strong for me on this one with the single red. So if you are feeling like it's just too vulnerable through, the, um, through that torso, you can feel it that your back's just gonna give. Don't go there, add yourself another spring or stay down onto the knees. Okay, we're going to go onto, back onto the four point kneeling again, back right from the beginning. So I'm gonna drop this right down to the yellow spring on this, which is my lightest option. And I'm gonna come into kneeling with the thighs against the shoulder rest. See how easy that moves? So be careful as you pivot around. We're coming onto all fours again, and I'm gonna bring those hands forwards, slightly forwards of my shoulders, and then I'm gonna bring my body forwards over that. And then I'm gonna go back into, remember that little tail tuck that we did here? So I'm gonna draw my coccyx round into my belly button, pull the carriage forwards, and then release the coccyx to the sky. I'm gonna do that again. Coccyx round into belly button, pull the carriage forwards, and then release the coccyx to the sky. It doesn't look like very much, but it feels like there's quite a lot of work going on. Now there is a fair amount going on through the upper body to hold your torso still, but I'm really trying to feel that tail tuck and then the return as I come back in. So I'm drawing those abdominals in to pull the carriage forwards. I'm gonna do one more here. And a return. Find that stopper again, and then drop back into my shell stretch again. <laughs> nice, let's go again. Same but different. This time, instead of the tail tuck, I'm gonna try and keep the torso uh, flat and just fold at the hips. So as I bring my knees underneath me, I'm almost thinking about reaching my sit bones behind me even more. And rather than hollowing out my belly, I'm feeling quite flat through the tummy, flat from pelvic head light to pelvic head light. And notice the carriage isn't moving very far. It's kind of tempting to try and whack into your wrists. You don't need to do that. It's just a small movement, 
fixing through the upper body, pulling in through those tummy muscles. And again, any feeling of vulnerability or um, not, not happiness, is that a word? <laughs> Into your back, then um, ease off with any of those. I'm gonna drop back into the shell stretch again. And then I'm gonna do one more set, and this time we're gonna add a little bit of rotation. So I'm gonna bring both hands over to one side, one silver runner. You can put the hands on top of each other or just grip hold of the side. Bring the body weight forwards, and there's kind of a sense of tummy crunch as I pull in and forwards on this slight rotation. So same action. And I am actually thinking almost a full cat here. So I'm pulling my ribs to my pelvis, pulling my pelvis towards my ribs to get that tummy crunch. Torso work, feeling, really feeling like you're strengthening. <laughs> I don't know if it, doesn't, it looks like I'm doing very much, but it feels like I'm working really hard. <laughs> and then release, and then we do the same on the other side. Who knew you could work so hard on a yellow spring, hey? <laughs> Drawing those abdominals in as you're going. Really feeling like I'm crunching my abdominals in and releasing. So there's that nice sense of getting that torso work, trying to feel like you're strengthening that whole area to support the spine. Shell stretch to finish there. <sighs> nice. And then I'm gonna come on up and we'll pivot around actually and we're gonna come on to We'll add, well, I'm just gonna add the red and we'll do a single thigh stretch and a little easy stretch to finish off here. So I'm going to come into a kneeling position and I'm gonna hook my foot just onto one of the silver runners here. And actually, because this carriage is so wide, I'm quite separated with my legs. So what I'm going to do is just scoot over and put the knee on this one side. So now you could, of course, just add your platform extender if you wanted, but I'm just gonna stay here for now. So I'm pushing away and then return. So I'm over slightly to my right side of the carriage as I'm pushing away and controlling back in. Pushing away, controlling back in. And we do one more. I'm gonna push away, hold, and just keep pressing the carriage away. So I'm trying not, not to move the carriage anymore but I'm pulling the hips back into the sockets to feel the stretch. And then I'm gonna return on my way to the other side. I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna open up for a little thread the needle here and then thread through, a little twist. And again, open, feeling the stretch through the chest, through the torso and a little thread through. And one more, open, thread through. And then I'll land that hand back, gonna go straight into the other side here. Lift open, thread through. And again, lift and open. And thread through. Last one, open. And thread through. Great, and then bring the hands back on. And then I'm gonna scoot over to my left side here foot against that, this side, shoulder rest. So it just makes me a bit more square, and then I'm pushing away. So it would depend on what reformer you're working on. You might, if the reformer is a little bit narrower, you might find you're better having the leg on the respective uh, shoulder rest. Just an option. Nice, even push to find the even stretch, stretching through the hip flexors and quads on this kneeling thigh, hamstrings on the front leg. Holding this last one back, pushing everything away, but pulling the hips back into the socket. Subtle movement, but intensifies the stretch. Ease it all the way back into the center, and we'll just reset into standing. Coming into your standing position. That was, felt like a surprisingly hard work workout. <laughs> Good. So feet hip distance, just a nice easy arm circle up and out and around. Let's go again. We're going to keep the arms above the head, drop one hand, sweep the other over the ear, just pushing down through the feet, reaching the arm, bring the other one up and then we go the other side again and reach 
and return. And then as you flow the arms out to the side with a bit of drama, feel that length through the spine and then release the shoulders. And well done. So for those of you that are interested in what I'm wearing today, I'm actually top to toe tabby noir. So I have a vest top here that has an open back, I think, in it. And it's in um, a color called Lake. And then my tights are, have a little snake print on and they are in garnet. And then my grip socks are tabby noir as well. And they're sort of like a gray color. 